Welcome back to the Engineered Angler. This week, we're back to silver plating lures. And if you hadn't seen me do it, uh, here's some photographs of what the lures look like after they're silver plated. Now you'll notice that there's a lot of gold ones in that stack. And that's something I do after I silver plate it. But I haven't done this in a while. I had actually built up a pretty good stockpile of the, my favorite lures. I'm running out of my most productive lure. And that's this little fat belly. It's a design that I've made years ago. But it's just the right size. And that rattle and that uh, flash is absolutely deadly out on the flats. I love this rattle. If this is your first time to the channel, my name's Franco. I'm a professional engineer, a lure designer, and avid fisherman. And I make these videos so I can share some engineering techniques, physics, a little bit of mathematics to enhance sort of the quality and accuracy of the art of lure making. So I've got four prepared here, mostly because I'm, I've been really lazy. I should have made like 10, but I've got my duplex gun ready to go. I got to get my kit out and all the chemicals and get this area prepped for spraying two-part silver, which gives you the most reflective surface you could possibly ever imagine. But in addition to the lures I'm doing, I'm gonna do something a little different. Check it out. So yeah, I'm going to take one of my kind of cheap bait casters and turn it silver. And there's plenty of silver bait casters out there and they run like 400 to 600 bucks. Obviously, the silver is not going to make this a better uh, bait caster, but it's going to look like it's an expensive one. I might even turn it gold. So these are the lures I'm going to silver plate. I've already got them sanded back and I put a generous coat of uh, Minwax polyacrylic on it. And that's just a mid coat because the next step is to put the glossiest clear coat you can possibly put on. Now, usually I like to use UV clear coats because they're fast, they're pretty strong, uh, and they hold up over time pretty well. They don't really finish super, super glossy. They have a nice gloss, but it isn't quite as glossy as a slow setting two part resin. So I'm going to get out my old East Coast resins and give these a coat. It'll take uh, like 24 hours for those things actually set up and probably another 24 hours before I dare to try to silver plate them. All right, so that's the last of uh, the polyacrylic mid coat. All right, that one looks good. Let's put it in the turner. All right, that's all the lures. Now I just need to do uh, the little side plates for this bait caster. I'm hoping the little divots I drilled to mark uh, the location of the, the uh, friction setting is gonna stick around. <laughs> After I clear coat it, I hope it doesn't become completely uh, filled in and hard to see. All right, it all looks good now, but for any of you who've ever done this, you guys know that sometimes you start out looking beautiful here, perfectly glossy, and when you come back in the morning, something has gone terribly wrong. Hopefully, that won't be the case, and we'll end up with a perfectly glassy finish, and we'll be able to move directly to silver plating. All right, we're back. It's been about three days. They're pretty close to perfect, including the real parts. Hopefully uh, the camera can pick up how nice and glassy these things are. 
so the next step is to set up my booth. I've got to get my silver plating kit out from underneath this cabinet. All right, so prepping for all this, it's a little bit uh, complicated, but I'm not gonna go into like the super details. I've already done that in uh, another video. My first step here is to make sure this gun sprays the same amount at the same rate from both of these bottles. Now I made this gun and you could make one pretty easily. I've made a video on how to make one and I'll go ahead and put a link up here somewhere and you can check it out. I'm gonna use my GoPro to record this because uh, this puts out a lot of steam, vapors from the chemicals. So I don't wanna use my normal camera. Uh, I wanna use something that's watertight. Hopefully the image won't be too shoddy. All right, well, I got it done. Mixed results. The lures came out perfect, which is really cool. But the real parts came out eh, mediocre. There is just a few sort of worn spots in the plastic that I didn't notice. I mean, this reel is probably eight years old and it's had some hours, so uh, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. But it's not absolutely horrible but I'll put it back together and show you what it looks like. 
But the real treat is these guys. They came out really almost absolutely perfect. Couple little spots, but barely noticeable. A little streaking on one of them. And this is just a beautiful background to put a little bit of transparent paint on and end up with a lure that is just really awesome. All right, so I've cleaned the mess up and I'm ready to clear coat these guys. Now my plan is to clear coat them with a two-part automotive clear coat. If you leave them too long, they begin to tarnish just like any silver. And once they start to turn that black tarnish color, there's no stopping it. It'll, uh, it'll look okay for a while, then you end up with a black lure, even under uh, a coat of clear. Now, one of the nice things about spraying clear coat on lures is that you can tint this stuff. And that means I can do a little bit of a tricked out version of the clear coat. And by taking some resin tint, transparent resin tint, a uh, bright or orangey yellow color and put it into this uh, clear coat, uh, you'll end up with a gold finish, just an amazing gold finish. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one of these lures all gold and then the rest I'm gonna do gold top, which is my preferred color. And the first thing I wanna do is uh, just mix up a clear, clear coat and spray these guys just with clear just to protect them so I don't have to worry about any other part of the body not being protected from oxidation. And I'll do the same thing with the real parts. All right, I'm gonna put on my respirator and get started painting. Uh, so maybe a little background music, maybe uh, overdubbing, I don't know. I'm gonna add the uh, bright yellow pigment into this clear stuff and I'm gonna put uh, about eight drops per ounce. It should look pretty amber. All right, so I'm gonna pick one of these and turn it fully gold. All right, so the worst part of this whole process is cleanup. So check out this golden lure. So what I did with the other ones is I made the top gold and then it kind of fades out to chrome on the belly. You can see the chrome on the belly and then the gold on top. So I, I toyed with the idea of turning these guys gold, 
but they have so many flaws uh, and they look kind of shabby. So I'm just going to pretend like it's a really expensive reel that I've beat up. But I'll put all these things together. I'll go ahead and get the lures painted and put eyes on it and put a final clear coat on those. We'll do a final slideshow at the end of this video. So if you're enjoying these kind of things, let me know. If you want to see more on silver plating uh, two-part spray, let me know and I'll do a few more examples. And if you haven't subscribed yet, certainly subscribe. It's free.